What's up everybody, Dramanaut here. I've got a new private server queued up and ready to go. Uh, today we're making a new character for a new run straight through to spring. Hang out, follow along with us if you like. We're doing character creation today. Or if you want, check out the topics chaptered out in your progress bar below. Uh, we're not going to get to play in this video. I'm just going to talk you through the logic behind this new character. We're going to start in Muldrow, Kentucky, kind of the first city of the game. The city's the city that's been with us the longest for sure. This video is kind of made for the newer players or people who have not played the game for a while. You're coming back to it like me. We're going to talk about what we see in front of us here and we're going to do that with most things we see. So uh, let's start over here. Occupation. This is going to be your starting class. You can kind of think about hover, uh, hover over it. You're going to see your skills. You're going to see some bonus features like amateur mechanic here. Um, cook. These are things that are very interesting. I'm going to talk about them all sometime in another video, but today I'm just going to show you my default build. So here it is. Unemployed. We're going to build, uh, I call it sometimes a suicide build, kind of a generalist. Uh, it's got a lot of points in it and it is predicated on the whole thing, on the whole uh, angle of not getting hit. So we're going to try not to get hit and that's going to give us a lot of advantages as long as we don't get hit. So here's what we have. Occupation on the left, traits in the middle, and then a summary on the right. Right, right now we have 8 points to spend because we took unemployed. Let's boost that number. Let's go to the red traits, the debuffs here. And we're going to take thin skin. That makes our wounds worse, so just don't get wounded. We're going to take slow healer. So again, just don't need healing. Don't get hit, you don't need healing. We're going to take some prone to illness. That's going to make us more likely to have colds. Actually, it won't tell you that. You see that? Faster rate of zombification, more prone to disease. But there are a lot of hidden boons and, uh, what's the word, drawbacks to all of these things as well that they don't tell you in this little UI uh, help tip here. I'm going to do another video about that, tell you all about those things. Today, though, follow, uh, we'll just keep going following the plan here. We've got prone to illness. We're going to keep going. We're going to take weak stomach. High chance for food illness. Well, we're just going to eat good food. We're going to take short-sighted because this is going to... It, you know what? This one says smaller view distance, slower visibility fade. That's not, I don't think that's true anymore. I think what that will actually do for us is just reduce our foraging radius, which we're not planning to do a lot of foraging. So this is almost like free points right there. And that gives us 37 points. So let's spend them. That is a lot to spend. We're going to take stout. Gives us some extra knockback on, and uh, some extra strength. I think it actually gives us some extra damage too, if I remember correctly, but they won't tell you that. I'm going to take fast learner because again, we're trying to make a generalist. We're not going to be good at too many things, but eventually we want to be good at everything. So this will give us increased gains. That increases actually 30% gains on every skill. Uh, sorry, in XP gains in every skill. So to keep boosting that, we're going to take brawler. Here's something uh, new players, you might not have noticed this, but when you take something like brawler, plus one axe, plus one long blunt, it actually gives you a bonus as well to your permanent enduring skill acquisition in that category. So all of our XP gains are going to receive a bonus in addition to the fast learner bonus. And this is important because Axe, Long Blunt, those are combat skills. You cannot get bonuses to combat skills once the game starts. So if you want to be good at combat, you have to decide now. You have to take that stuff now. So that's what we're going to do. Axe, Long Blunt. Uh, we're going to take Sower so that we can make some tailoring, tailor up some fancy armor later. We're going to take a few more things here. Inconspicuous, less likely to be spotted. We're going to take Baseball Player. Look what that's done. We've got two points now in Long Blunt, which is actually going to give us 100% skill bonus. So double XP on Long Blunt weapons, and that's going to be really helpful. We'll take Fast Reader, because I don't like waiting around for reading. We'll take Dexterous, because it's good to move fast. Keep your uh, inventory. Yeah. New players, if you haven't played this, this game is about... It's about your inventory. You just sort inventory all day long. You look for good stuff and then you try to put it in a good place. So that's really important. Uh, cat's eyes, better vision at night. You don't want to get jumped at night. And then uh, that's going to help you see things to avoid that. And then speed demon, take drive very fast. This is a risky one. I would just as easily take Sunday driver, which has disappeared here. So you'll see a lot of these traits are actually kind of opposites of each other. Sunday Driver drives very slow, Speed Demon drives very fast. This is actually not bad. If you're a new player, cars go fast, okay? And on default settings like we're playing here, uh, if you get in a car accident, that is bad news. So Sunday Driver makes you slow, makes your car accidents less severe. And that's not a bad thing. I'm going to take Speed Demon uh, drive very fast though because I've, I've gotten a little more confident in my driving skills. So here's our summary. 
We got lots of strength. We got some combat boosts up here. We've got a lot of bad stuff if we get injured. So remember, don't get injured. And uh, fast reader, fast learner. Hopefully we'll be picking up some skills pretty fast. So now we are into the physical manifestation of the character, right? Now, if you are in a private server, uh, you can actually enable an option that will let you choose from many more types of clothing here. But we're just using default settings, so this is all the clothing we've got. Uh, we are going to, we can set a name if we want, uh, surname, a forename. Oh, I've never heard of that. First name, last name, gender here, uh, skin color here. You can set your hair, you know, if you change your gender, of course. You can also get some chest hair going, get some beard hair going, uh, these things. But, you know, I'm not going to do that, and I usually don't. You know, let's see what he looks like like that. Um, I'm just doing this to show you. We can, we can put some kind of starting things on our person if we want to but I'm a big fan of just hitting random so that's what I'm gonna do just hit random a few times all right we got Brandon plant who else do we have we've got Logan Contreras now we're gonna see Gabriel Ashton Faye Hills I'm just waiting until I see someone jumps out at me uh, such as Abby Phelan here I'm digging the uh, the jean shorts with the long socks fan of that Natalie Dunbar with the spikes So you can see there's a lot of variation even just in these limited things you change the color tons of very vari uh, Variation in the colors available to you once you've chosen what type of pants you're doing uh, Many of the pants also have types within that larger category So this is a huge improvement over what we used to have before the animations update uh, And this this new character model stuff everything in 3d now um, You might remember Back in the day, we did not have all this. Orn Van Buren. Whoa. All right. If you see something that you like, take note of it for yourself later. I, I spent some time on this because you're going to be spending a lot of time with this character. Wilfredo. Wilfredo. Are you... Wilfredo Berryman. Okay, we're going to... This name. I'm sold just on the name alone. Then dig these long purple socks with the pink shoes. Does not match at all with the stuff on top. And what's going on with his hair? It's like a ready... You know what? Can we actually go pink? We can't. But you know what? We we can do this. Let's get running. Let's get excited. Let's start with Wilfredo Berryman here. And uh, you can join us in the next video. We're going to start him up. All right, if you liked what you saw here today, give us a like on this video. If you want to know Alfredo's story, hit the uh, subscribe button right there. And uh, if there's anything you want to see me keep, stop, or start, uh, start doing, let me know in the comments. And uh, we will see you next time. Good luck in the end times, survivors.